We all know there's expensive cars in GTA Online, but the most rare ones are ones that you can't actually buy. That's because they're really difficult to find. So today, we're going to go over 10 of the most rare vehicles in GTA Online, and I'm going to show you how to get them, even though it might take you a while. If you enjoy, leave a thumbs up, sub for more stuff like this, let's jump in. The first car we'll be talking about is this rare rat loader. This waypoint here is where this vehicle will spawn, and it's a pretty tough one to get, I won't lie. And as you can see here, we got it to spawn, but don't let the footage fool you, this actually took a very long time of driving back far away from the spawn location and then driving back to where it spawns again, sort of just going back and forth, refreshing the game to hopefully get this thing to spawn in. Most players have reported that they've got this one to spawn during daylight hours, and a lot of people have also said that if you're driving a muscle car yourself, then and this vehicle has a higher chance to spawn. So that's what we did. But again, I can't really confirm if that's true or not because that would take hundreds and hundreds of hours of testing just to get this one vehicle. To be safe, I would recommend just driving a muscle car just in case and then driving back and forth across Polito Bay. You're going to want to drive a few hundred meters away like you can see here, then turn around, come back and hope that it spawns. The one I got here was in yellow, but it can also spawn in green. So keep an eye out for either of these two vehicles. It is really cool. The second car on this list is a really rare Sand King. This is probably my second favorite vehicle on this list. This thing looks awesome. So to get this one to spawn, you want to come out to Sandy Shores. And the spawn location is right around here where this arm wrestling is. And just like the rat loader, the same sort of thing is going to apply. You're going to want to drive a few hundred meters away, then drive back to this location. Basically, just so the game keeps refreshing what vehicles will spawn in this area and then hope that it spawns. Just like the rat loader as well, there are a couple of things you can do in order to increase the spawn rate of this one. The first one is, again, go in daylight hours. Apparently, this one only spawns during the day. And to increase your chances, people have said they've had more luck when they're driving a Sand King themselves. So that's what I did here. This final method, we can't really say if it works at all, but most players who have got this vehicle have turned their camera off all the way to the right and only look back left when they pass where the vehicle could spawn. That's what I did. I, it worked. I can't say if it'll spawn if you don't do it because I didn't test that. But as you can see here, this vehicle is awesome. It's a big bopper as well. One of the cooler vehicles in the game, in my opinion. Just like the last vehicle as well. We got this one in yellow, but it can spawn in blue. Next, we've got three different variants of lowriders corresponding to the individual gangs within GTA 5. You can look for either a yellow or a purple evapid peyote yellow is for the bargos purple is for the ballers and you can also look for a green buccaneer which represents the family's gang this waypoint is where we found the vargos lowrider but basically you're gonna want to circle around these blocks here and you can even see grove street on the top left of the screen here so continue circling around this area checking all of the car parks and the sides of streets especially in grove street and good luck the next one is my favorite vehicle on this list it's an ultra rare dubstep this is the most difficult vehicle on this list to get. Now, in order to get this one to spawn, you actually need to be driving a dubster yourself. Now, there's two ways to do this. Well, two somewhat easy ways to do this, so I'm going to recommend them to you. If you own a casino penthouse, you can actually request a vehicle from Miss Baker by just calling her up, requesting a vehicle, and then you can call in your own dubster. The other way to spawn one of these in is if you're a road captain in someone else's MC club. If you do that, you can go to the vehicles tab in the MC interaction menu there and spawn one in as well. Once you're driving your dubster, there's two possible places you can go. You can either go to the LS Customs at the bottom of the map down near the airport, or you can go to the LS Customs that's near Vinewood, which is the one that we did here. Probably the most popular one in the city. Once you've got your dubster, just like the previous vehicles, you want to drive far away from the LS Customs and then drive back and keep doing that over and over until this vehicle spawns in. This one took me a couple of hours, but in my opinion, it was well worth it. Look at how cool this dumpster is, man. That is incredible, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe you got different car tastes, but this thing looks absolutely awesome in my eyes. This one will probably take you a while, but again, I think it's worth it. Good luck if you try to do it. Next up, this vehicle is a guaranteed spawn, but it requires a few things for you to do to actually get it, and it's kind of somewhat difficult. We're going to be getting the Tornado Mariachi. 
Now, you may think this is a common vehicle, but this is actually a very rare variant of this one that has guitars in the back, and you can't normally get that. In order to get it, you're going to want to come up to this exact location on the map, and I mean exact location, like come right here. You need to be standing in this exact spot at 7 p.m. or 1900 on your phone, so I'd recommend getting here a bit before if you can, you know, maybe around, let's say, 1830, 1840, and you need to be facing Mount Chiliad, okay? You can see Mount Chiliad off in the distance there we're looking that way that's because this car is going to spawn behind us so we pull out our phone here as soon as it gets to 7 p.m or 1900 on your phone i normally wait a second or two and then you want to turn around and as you can see here there's some people in the mariachi that has spawned over there and they're being chased by cops now this is actually kind of an easter egg to a movie I'll let you guys in the comments tell me which movie this is. But what I want you to do is turn around, snipe the drivers out of the mariachi. Then you can hop on your oppressor or whatever vehicle you're on and fly over there and take it. Now, be warned, it is very hard to get this off the actual mountain. What you're probably going to want to do is call Lester as soon as you get in the car because you will have the cops on you. And I've actually lost this car and didn't actually take it to my garage or Los Santos Customs to be able to store it as my own because I tried to drive it off the cliff and got it stuck and it just ended up being stuck forever. So play it safe, call Lester, get the cops off you and then turn around and drive off this mountain safely once you have it. Next is a pretty fun car just to mess around in. It's the Heavy Dozer. You can actually get this one to spawn. It's kind of rare. You just want to drive up and down this street here. Now, of course, you can't keep this vehicle once you get it to spawn, but it's kind of fun to mess with friends in this thing or just drive around and destroy civilians' cars or maybe even other players if you can do it, but you'll probably get blown up. Anyway, pretty fun vehicle. Good luck trying to get it. Next, we have a very rare Sentinel XS. This is a really cool looking car. Now, yes, you can buy the Sentinel XS, but this is a rare variant of it. And you will be able to keep this one as well. So instead of paying the 60,000 that you would normally, you can get this one for free. This car is only gonna spawn at nighttime in the Vinewood area out front of the Eclipse Hotel. It will really spawn anywhere between the Eclipse Apartments up there and the Tequila La Bar. That sounds very weird in an Australian accent. I just realized the bar that is named Tequila La, to clarify. Sorry for the confusion, I'm, I'm an Aussie. Just like all the other vehicles, drive up and down this road, Rockstar will keep spawning more cars in as you do it. It's gonna be in this really nice sort of purple-ish color, and it looks just beautiful in my opinion. You can also upgrade this car to an HSW vehicle. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool to say, yeah, this is my HSW vehicle. I stole it off the street. Really feels like something Grand Theft Auto E to do. I don't know. Good luck trying to get it. This car's awesome. Next on the list is a rare FIB emergency vehicle. Now, there's a pretty easy way to get this one. What you want to do is set yourself up as a CEO or a VIP, and then start up the VIP work called Hostile Takeover. Once you do that, come down to the airport where it should tell you to go, take out the guys that are carrying the briefcase, and there'll be an FIB emergency vehicle there for you to steal. When you start up this mission though, make sure you choose the location LSIA so that you'll get this mission and not some other one. Unfortunately, you can't store and save this vehicle. We have Rockstar to thank for that. Hopefully Cops and Crooks comes out one day, but probably not. But it's a pretty cool car to drive around as like an undercover cop in and maybe try and arrest some players. Eh, probably not. You'll probably just get blown up, but you know. Next, we're going to be spawning a rare police bike. To do this, come over to the store on the right side of the map right here. You're going to want to rob this store between the hours of 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. You can wait out front, wait till it's 11, and then go in and do it. Once you do this, you're going to get two stars. You're also going to need to be on a bike yourself to do this. So watch what I do here. I rob the store. You want to come over exactly exactly to where I do here. Wait on this white arrow. Then you'll see on your map that a cop spawns, kind of just on your map here. That will be the rare police bike. So once you see that cop spawn, chase him down in your bike and kill him and you can drive the bike. Unfortunately, like the FIB vehicle, all the emergency vehicles can't be stored yourself, which kind of sucks, but it's pretty cool and pretty fun to drive around. Next up is a slam van. Now you can't buy this vehicle and you can't actually keep it by doing this method, but I'll show you how to spawn it in nonetheless. This will spawn in a lot of missions where the Lost chase you down, spawns in the last dose missions, or you can do it in the Alkanost prep for your Kaya Heist, like I do here. However, if you want to be able to keep this one, let's, let's get into the numbers here. It is absolutely crazy. You can win this one by getting the mystery gift on the casino wheel, which is a 1 in 20 chance. Then people are saying the chances of getting this vehicle, if you get the mystery gift, is 1 in 20,000. 
that's how rare this vehicle is to actually get and keep. I wonder how many people actually have this car. It's got to be like, what, less than 10, right? The final rare car we'll be going over is a variant of the Vapid Speedo, which is actually the van you use for your nightclub. In order to spawn this one in, start up the mission called Court Napping. As soon as you spawn in, hop in your oppressor or any flying vehicle and head over to this location as fast as you possibly can. If you do that, the Speedo should spawn in. You can see it's a rare variant because it has some trash in the back of it and that doesn't spawn in the normal one. Kind of a cool thing to show off to your friends and we'll wrap the video up there. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, sub for more stuff like this. I don't normally do much car stuff on this channel. Thought I'd give it a go for once. Let me know if you liked it. Hope you're staying safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Since I was in the seventh grade, seventh grade. I'm my first kid, I was only six.